What's up guys, Ryan here, and with a new Master Rule comes a new Yu-Gi-Oh! Simulator. So with Percy retiring, uh, his development team kind of took over to uh, create this new Yu-Gi-Oh! Sim. So, so YGO Pro is gone, but this EDO Pro is now going to be taking its place. So let's jump right in and I'll show you how to download it. So the first thing you will see after clicking the link in the description down below is this uh, this page. Just continue on to Discord. This will take you straight to the downloads channel on Project Ignis' Discord server. Uh, here are the different operating systems. They have Windows, Mac, and Linux. So go ahead and click the installer for Windows. This will open up a mega download window. Go ahead and click the download button. That'll take a couple seconds and uh, probably go to your downloads folder. Um, I'm using Chrome, so it just shows up in the bottom left corner when it is done. So go ahead and click that. And the uh, uh, Windows will probably pop this up, but you can just click the uh, show more and then run anyway. I think their uh, certificates or something aren't quite... Uh, uh, Oh, it's a it's a kind of a user made package, so it's not an official Windows uh, sanctioned installer, but it is safe. So go ahead and uh, hit uh, next on the installer, and this will extract all of the files to the root folder C project Ignis. So it's a it's going to be right there. Now you can uncheck that and then hit finish. Now open up a Windows Explorer window and navigate to the root of C. And you can just click this PC. Um, and go down to local disk and there's project ignis and then run the edo pro.exe that's it now you have uh, edo pro on your machine some uh, some neat features of this are you know servers your land ai puzzles replays and decks um uh, the top one is servers this is where you can join and host a game online there are two servers one's a competitive one one's a casual one I'm not sure how I feel about the US being the casual. Uh, here's some search parameters that you can choose, and this is where you can change your name to be uh, whatever you want, but I'll make it my uh, my username. You can host and set your parameters here. If you want to give it a password so that only your friend can or anyone with the password can access it, that's up to you. Uh, the other cool thing is that there is an AI, so you can go into the LAN plus AI, host a game just like the other one, set your parameters, uh, and you can add a local AI. Here's some settings for the AI. You have them always to rock and then mute them. Um, unfortunately, I don't think a lot of them are uh, conforming to the current ban list. They do have a lot of banned cards. So when you host your game, uh, you will have to check the box that says don't check the deck. So that means that uh, the system will not check to make sure it conforms to the ban list. Uh, there's actually quite a few of them in here that you can you can mess around with. If you want to change it, uh, you just have to select it and uh, boot the other player from the, uh, the game. And then he's going to go first and, uh, and kind of play some, some blue eyes stuff. One of the cooler new features in this application is the ability to send an invite via Discord. There's Discord integration. So what you do is you go ahead and host a game on the server, doing your uh, your settings and all that. Once that's hosted, you can go into Discord and then in the plus section, you can send an invite. Uh, you can do this in a channel or you can do it in a direct message. Once you send that, the, uh, the recipient of that or anybody in that group can then hit join and they will be dropped directly into the room that you have set up here. So they would be put right in here to duel. Uh, it's really nifty if you want to challenge somebody for a tournament or uh, that kind of thing. The other part is your deck editor. Uh, in here there is uh, pretty much the same thing as YGO Pro, um, but if you go to settings and more settings, there's a few options that you can choose uh, but the cool thing is there is a like a in place skin changer so you can change the uh the look and feel of your uh ADO pro uh this is a lot easier than with ygo pro because that was uh, you had to like go into the settings and like import it and it was it was kind of a pain so this is this is really neat that you can just change it on the fly like that yeah, this is your deck editor. Um, search for any card you need. You can click on it uh, to add. 
Um, the other cool thing about this is it has a test hand. So you can take your deck into just a kind of a, a one player simulator uh, and test out your combos or your first hand. So you make sure your consistency is right. And if you don't like what you got, you can restart it, kind of see what uh, see what your deck is capable of doing first turn. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. If you guys do have any issues or technical issues, the uh, Project Ignis team on their Discord will be happy to answer any and all of your technical issues. Um, if it is something to do with uh, how to download it or, or whatever, uh, you can either ask there or in the comment section down below. But yeah, that's all for me. Good luck and happy dueling.